Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to use the MIDI program change in LV1 using Logic Pro X. If you're using a PC as a host for LV1, you start by downloading RTP MIDI, which is completely free. You open the program, create a session using the plus sign. You can name this session however you want it. Click the session to make it available in the network. Go into your MacBook Pro where you're going to use Logic. You search for MIDI, not MIFI, MIDI. <laughs> and you open up the MIDI settings. From here, you go to Window and open MIDI Studio. When you're inside MIDI Studio, you go up to the right corner and click the network symbol. Here you will have a blank space and you do just as on the PC, you create a session. Name it however you want. And you click it to make it available as well. Then you can head on over to your uh, PC host and you will find your MacBook. You can connect to it. And there you go. Open LV1. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Whilst we're waiting, we can open a Logic Pro project which is going to send all the MIDI information. Create an empty project. Make sure you're connected to the Wave Sound Grid on both input and output. Then you create an external MIDI. This track is going to be the track that sends the MIDI program change information. You can name this whatever you want as well. LV1 MIDI Send. Simple. You can then create a MIDI track by using the paint brush. And from here on, you head into your external MIDI, choose the destination, which is going to be the network session that you've created. I'm going to show you as a good teacher here. It's this one. <laughs> then you head on to open the event window. Here you choose program change. Boom. Then you click plus sign and it's going to create an event, which is the program change event. And you move the cursor. Another one. Another one. And another one. And then you change the value of these ones to starting from zero and going upwards. Just like this. And when you play this back, it will follow the event. And just to be clear, the value zero is equal to the first scene in LV1. I'm gonna explain this further and show you. I create a loop like this, just to show you. We go back into LV1. I have prepared a show file for the MIDI testing. Let this one load up. LV1 is so quick, man, it's crazy. So here I've created four scenes. You see starting at one, which is equal to zero in Logic. So you gotta keep this in mind. Logic is one behind. You go to setup, you create a MIDI, Go into settings, choose the input, and the input will be your computer, the host computer, and you follow program change. Then you go back to your show or scenes and you click MIDI, and it's going to start following the program change, which is in a loop in Logic Pro X. So all of this is automatic, automatic right now from Logic Pro X. You see it's looping the program changes. So just to be clear, zero is one in the scene. And one is two, two is three, three is four, and so on. Thank you guys for watching. From here on out, you can use your fantasy as much as you need to create automated uh, scene changes. 
two examples that's popular to use is like FX mutes in between songs when the artist is talking to the audience. Uh, me personally usually create my first scene like this, as you could see in the video. This allows me to automate that at the end of each song, when I know they're gonna speak to the audience, my effects are muted, obviously. Another example is uh, key changes. If you're using autotune, then you can automate scene changes to different keys, yada yada. And a third example, which might be viewed as a more advanced example, is like if you have a guitarist that is panned to a specific side in the PA and this uh, guitarist is going into a solo, you can automate in the middle of the song when the solo is being played to make this guitar pan center and then back. Uh, as I said, use your fantasy and don't make it too complicated. All right. Have a great day. I hope this helped a lot of you.